We end today's Democracy Now! special by looking at President Trump's mental health and a growing movement <laughs> among mental health professionals called Duty to Warn. Last month, President Trump slurred his speech and mispronounced whoa, his words. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, Duty to Warn has to. This is so outrageous. Duty to Warn is if you're a psychiatrist and you have a client and they're threatening to kill somebody, like their wife or their husband, you have a duty to warn the police. This has nothing to do with that. We have a duty to warn about Trump because he might fire nuclear missiles at North Korea, is what they're saying. That's so outrageous and preposterous, but that's what they're talking about. And Amy Goodwin has been around as a longtime ultra left wing columnist. I don't know how many years. Now, I've invited Bandy Lee on my radio show. She said, yes, we had two dates either January 15th or January 19th. Then her publicist, for her book on this subject that she now has, is pushing out, uh, cut it off and said, not only isn't she available on the 15th or the 19th, she told my radio producer, she's never available to you. Oh, OK. So I can't question Dr. Bandy Lee, but she can question the mental health of the President of the United States. You know what we call that? A fraud. The White House, for the second time in as many days, is defending the president's mental health. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's not like the White House is defending the president's mental health. His spokesperson is being questioned by a pretend reporter who's burping up all this left wing Democrat Party nonsense, and they're explaining that the president is fine. It's not the oh, we're defending his mental health. They're responding to the kooks who call themselves reporters. She's not in a formal position to formally diagnose his condition, uh, given that there are certain protocols for medical professionals. Oh. Doesn't matter. Certain protocols for medical professionals. She'll throw them out the window, and they'll repeat everything. And then with a little footnote in the end, uh, at the end, well, you know, um, she's not really following protocols. or Who the hell is Bandy Lee? Why the hell do we care what Bandy Lee has to say? She's a Yale professor. That's strike number one. But nobody knows anything about her. She's part of a cabal with the Democrats. She comes off earnestly. Oh, I think he's unraveling and the stress is getting to. I mean, who the hell is she? And yet now, this person who none of us know, who never served in any public capacity that I'm aware of, never ran for office, will not present herself on my radio program, she is somebody who we're supposed to rely on. And these Democrats, who will rely on anything they possibly can to take out this president, they're promoting her. If they could, they would take a guy like Donald Trump and put him in a mental institution and, and push him away for the rest of time. This is how they dealt with their adversaries. This is how they dealt with what they considered their political enemies if they didn't simply execute them. Oh, he's mentally unstable. He's challenging the state. Oh, he's mentally unstable. Look, look how he does these things over here. Oh, he's mentally unstable. It's time to put him away. That's exactly what's going on. This is a Soviet-style attack on the President of the United States. These are the tactics in what is absolutely an effort at a coup, a silent coup. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.